what's good i'm back again with another video i just came back from the container store i bought a bunch of these drop front shoe boxes i got the men's ones because i wasn't sure if the women's ones were gonna fit my sneakers but um wow i'm so out of breath from bringing these boxes up um hmm. Anyway, I just bought these and I'm going to set it up and put all of my sneakers in there and I figured, oh, this would be a wonderful opportunity to do a sneaker collection. Since, <sighs> since I'm going to be pulling out all of my sneakers and putting them in here anyway, so um, let's get started. So this is what they look like. It's just like a clear kind of plastic box, but the front has a drop front. So it's very easy to put sneakers or shoes in and out because with regular like clear boxes, you have to stack them on top of each other. But if you have a pair of shoes that you want to wear that are on the bottom, you have to take off every box on top of it just to get your shoe out. And it just gets, it's really inconvenient. So I really like these because it makes it very convenient. So this is what they look like when they are stacked on top of each other. I bought 18 of them. Each one of these boxes uh, comes with six of them. So I bought three, so I'm gonna have 18 of them. So these are all my sneakers. There are also sneakers inside the boxes. That's why it doesn't look like I have that many right now. <laughs> uh, but this is the setup. All right, so now that all of my sneakers are in their own storage container, I suppose we may now proceed with the sneaker collection. Okay, so I'm just gonna go left to right, top to bottom. So the first pair of sneakers we got right over here are my Bread 11s. Ugh, these are my favorite Jordans of all time, the Bread 11s. Um, I love it because of the colorway. It's black, white, and red, which are my favorite colors to wear. Um, but also, I just like the silhouette of the sneaker. They're very big sneakers, but I just really love the silhouette of them. I love the shape of it. These are basketball sneakers, so they're not very comfortable to wear if you're walking around a lot. Uh, I wore these to Disneyland one time and my, I don't even want to talk about it. These don't have great arch support, but I really love these sneakers. Um, I just wouldn't wear them to Disneyland or to go to a convention because I also wore these at ComplexCon, um, which was a full day of walking and that probably was the best idea. But yeah, those are my favorite Jordans, the Bread 11s. Oh, and these are a size six. These are a men's size six, so I'm a women's size eight. The next pair of shoes or pair of sneakers that I have are another pair of Jordans. These are the Air Jordan 1s. So other than the 11s, the Bread 11s, uh, the Air Jordan 1s are my favorite as well because it's just a classic silhouette and they're high tops. I love, I love high top sneakers. They're my favorites. What are these called? These are like Air Jordan 1 retro double X or something like that. They have, I don't know. I've never seen these Jordans before because um, the top, as you can see, it goes like diagonal, which is really interesting. And then it also has a zipper on the side. I've never seen Air Jordan ones like this before, but uh, apparently they exist. I just bought these at Nordstrom. <laughs> they had these at Nordstrom and they were very, very comfortable when I tried them on. And also they were very easy to put on because of the zipper. Um, one of the issues that I have with a lot of high top sneakers is even though I love wearing them, they are a little bit difficult to take off and put on. So I really appreciate that these ones have a zipper on them. And I really like the color as well. It's like an off-white. The material is suede. So I, I brought these to Paris and I was gonna wear them all the time walking on my Paris trip, but then it started raining in Paris. So I didn't wanna ruin my suede because I haven't sprayed these yet. So I had to buy another pair of sneakers, which you will see right after this pair of sneakers, but I love these. I do need to get them sprayed because I don't want them to get ruined because they're suede, but I love these ones. All right, the next pair of sneakers are another pair of Air Jordan 1s, and these are the ones that I bought in Paris when it started to rain, and I bought these ones because they are leather. 
so they're much easier to clean than suede you know what i mean if you get them wet so these are another pair of air jordan ones these are in the colorway called hot punch this is a women's exclusive, so they only made these in women's sizes. Normally, I would really hate like a super obnoxious sneaker like this, but I tried them on at the Nike store in Paris, and I just, I don't know, I fell in love with it. I really liked the way that it looked. I think what got me, honestly, was like this little um, neon detail here in the back. I don't know, that just, it looked really cool to me, and I was like, wow, do I need these shoes? I think I do. So I bought them, <laughs> um, but I, I don't know. I just really like the neon yellow with the hot pink. I think it, it looks stunning, like the juxtaposition of the colors. I think it looks stunning. I love the colorway and I love the neon stitching right here on the bottom. And then I also really like that the Air Jordan logo right here is like a, kind of like a soft rubber kind of situation. Usually um, with, the, with the Air Jordans, it's just like imprinted onto the shoe. So with this one, it's actually like a, a piece that is, I don't know, glued or something onto the sneaker. So I really like that. It was different from all the other Jordans that I have. They're also very, very comfortable. It has a lot of padding on the inside and also it's a premium leather. So it's a really, really nice leather. I love the way that it feels. And um, yeah, these are the Air Jordan 1s hot punch oh also i can say that i bought them in paris you know what i'm saying like if someone's like hey i love your shoes where'd you get them i'd be like paris paris the next pair of shoes that i have <laughs> surprise they're another pair of jordans <laughs> these are um air jordan ones again um these are a lot more wearable than the other jordans that i've shown I heard tapping on my window, which was weird because I'm on the top floor of my apartment complex, but I just found out it was just uh, the palm trees blowing in the wind and hitting my window. Okay, that was a little weird. <clears throat> but anyway, these are the Air Jordan 1s. These are a lot more wearable than the other Jordans that I've just shown you because these are all white. And there's really not much to say about these sneakers other than um, they're Jordans and they're white. <laughs> They also need to be cleaned. I don't clean my sneakers, which is something that I want to start doing this year. Um, I need to start taking care of my sneakers. <laughs> the next pair of sneakers that I have in my collection are the Nike Air Max 270s. Ah, oh, these are so cute. Wow, <coughs> my voice. These are like a millennial pink style of color. I saw these on the Hype Bay Instagram page and I was like, what I need those where do I buy those and these were so difficult to find not resale because look at them They're just they're so cute um, But I found these at like a random finish line in Glendale and I don't know they had them. They are not my size I think these are yeah, these are an eight and a half. I'm a size eight So these are like a half size too big, but honestly they they still fit I'd rather them be a little bit too big than a little bit too small and I don't regret it one bit they are so comfortable the air max 270s they're light as a feather like they are so light um it feels like i'm walking on clouds and i love the the air bubbles at the bottom of the 270s i have these ones and i'm very happy about this purchase the next pair of sneakers in my collection are the Reebok Aztrex. I have two pairs of these. They're super cute. So the Reebok Aztrex originally came out in the 90s. I think they came out in 1993. Um, and then Reebok just re-released them last year in 2018. These are super comfortable as well. They have a really nice arch support and I really like the silhouette of them. These are a more wearable dad sneaker because there's a lot of dad sneakers that are are really intense <laughs> so these are a lot more palatable of a dad sneaker and I have one pair in this black white and red colorway and then I also have another pair in a like an off-white navy blue and like a fuchsia colorway if I'm being honest I actually wear these more than I wear the white ones just because these are I don't know they're really interesting like it's a really interesting colorway and I love wearing this with like plaid because this uh, this colorway matches with a lot of red plaid very very well so <laughs> these are the Air Force One SFs these were very popular about like two years ago or so I still wear them because I really like the way that they look 
If you know me, even if things go out of style, I still wear them because I like them. And I really like this because they're a really unique looking sneaker because it has like all this utility hardware. It has like a little strap right here with a buckle and it has like zippers right here in the back and I love the um, kind of platform it has on the sole of the shoe. I just think it looks really cool and it looks really unique. And I also like that it zips here at the bottom so you can just slide your foot in. So these are the Air Force One SF Mids. Ugh, I have to drink some water here. Okay, the next pair of sneakers that I have in here are the Puma Thunder Deserts. These are super cool sneakers. They kind of remind me of the Yeezys but they're much more affordable and a lot more accessible than the Yeezys are. And I love the color palette of it. It has like tans and light millennial pinks and grays and I don't know, I just really like that color palette. I think it's super cute. The next pair of sneakers that I have in my collection, these ones are super cool. These are the Puma Selena Gomez collaboration sneakers. And my favorite part about the sneaker is the rose gold chain detailing right here in the back. I just think that's super cool. And then it also has this like buckle on the side right here. And I also really like that is an all black sneaker. These are super, super comfortable. They're light as a feather. And I just think they're really cool because they're all black with like that rose gold detailing. I don't own any other sneakers that are all black, like sole and all. So these are just really, really cool, really freaking awesome. And they're very, very comfortable to wear. The next shoe in my sneaker collection are the Puma Cali Fashions. These are a great sneaker for like, if you don't own any sneakers and you need to buy a sneaker, I think that you should buy these ones. Just because it's a really nice leather sneaker, it, they're easy to clean and they're also white, they're easy to slip on and they're just your basic like white sneaker. The next pair of sneakers that I have in my collection are the Puma Puma Classic uh, Suede's, the Puma Suede Classics. I originally bought these because I wanted to be Shaolin Fantastic from the get down for Halloween and he had these shoes and I was like, I need to buy them because I want to be him for Halloween and the best part about it was that I could wear these even after Halloween. Uh, these were very popular in the 70s, so it's no wonder why Shaolin Fantastic had them on the get down. Uh, my dad had a pair of these back in the 70s. They're just a really classic style of sneaker and they're suede, so they're really cool and I love the colorway because I love red. <laughs> obviously and then the next pair of sneakers that i have are the puma cali fashion velvet so these are literally the same as the other puma cali fashion except these have a velvet material i love these so so much they are so cute we're almost done here folks the next pair of sneakers that i have are the um what are these? Oh, these are the Bugs Bunny 8s. These are the Air Jordan 8s and the colorway Bugs Bunny. These were my first pair of Jordans ever. I bought these like in 2012 or something like that. They were my first pair of Jordans. I bought them on eBay. I won, uh, I won a bid for them, so I got them for super cheap. Well, they were still a little expensive, but they were like way below market value. <laughs> the only thing with these sneakers is that they are very dirty because like I said, I don't really clean my sneakers. And honestly, if I'm being honest, honestly, if I'm being honest, <laughs> if I'm being honest, gotta choose one of them. I haven't really been wearing these a lot lately. These were my first pair of Jordans and they have served me very, very well, even though I don't wear them as often as I did when I first bought them. Um, they're just a really unique pair of sneakers. They don't make sneakers like these anymore. <laughs> Not to sound like an old woman, but they just don't make them like this no mo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> these are a pair of like metallic gold sneakers that I bought from Michael Kors right after I graduated high school. And I still love them and I still, I haven't worn them lately, honestly, but they're so comfortable. These are the most comfortable pair of sneakers that I own. I'm like not even joking. The padding in these are ridiculous and they're so comfortable. <laughs> it's a very, I call these my music video shoes because I'm, I've worn them on multiple music videos. Uh, I wore these when I was on um, Chris Brown's Loyal 
And then I also wore them when I was on Zico's music video. They made me change my shoes, but I wore them to set. And I don't know, I just call these my like music video sneakers because they've gone on many different music video sets. And they all, the stylist always made me wear them because they're just, they just look so cool. You know what I'm saying? But they're so old. Like I bought these in 2012 or like 2013. They're just, they're so old, but these also have very special place in my heart. Also, they're just a really cool sneaker. Like, who has metallic gold sneakers? You know what I mean? Michael Kors really did that. Like, he really did that when he designed these. These are also really expensive. I remember paying for them with my first check from Best Buy. I think they were $250 or something like that including taxes and that was my last pair of sneakers other than like my running sneakers that i'm not going to show you because they're just running sneakers and they're not really that important to fashion anyway this video was very highly requested so i figured since i was buying all of these storage units and then transferring my sneakers into them i figured this would be the perfect time to film this video for you guys uh thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys next time.